Okay, I'm going to explain the wiring of a nav light switch. This is a double pole on off on switch and in explaining that it's going to kind of tie a lot of this together for you. Uh, a nav light switch is the most common wiring question that we have. So when the actuator is in position number one, this is a VJ DJ switch. Uh, the J indicates that it is an on, off, on. So in position one, it is on. In position, in the middle position, which is position two, it is off. In position three, it is on again. So you read down column one. In position number one, which is on, it says terminals number two and three and five and six are connected. So remember, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. 2 and 3, 5 and 6 are connected. Remember, these two sides are independent of each other. The only thing we have here is we have a jumper that's going from position number 2 to position number 4. That's where power comes in. So instead of running an external jumper or an external jumper wire, uh, there's a brass jumper. Uh, these come from Carling and uh, that's indicated by a J in the fourth position and we'll get to that of course in video number 4. Okay, in position number two, the switch is off, so there's nothing connected here. In position number three, you'll see by the table that terminals number one and two are connected and number four and five. So you have one and two, four and five. And remember, the power is coming in to two and five. So what you're getting basically is a connection between here and here and here and here. All right, the way to wire a nav light switch is remember in one position you want your bow light on and your anchor light or stern light. In the other position you want just your anchor light on when you're at rest. So the way we do that, let's say we want all the lights to come on when you're in position number one. So these two terminals and these two terminals are going to be connected. So we have power going here and power going here independently of each other. So we're going to run our anchor light off this one and we'll run our bow light off this one. In the middle position, off, nothing is lit. In the second position, or which is going to be position number three actually, these two are connected and these two are connected. Now remember we had our anchor light coming off this one here. For simplicity's sake what we're going to do now is we're just going to run our anchor light off this this terminal here is going to be hot, but there's nothing connected to it. So, when we're in position number one, anchor light and bow light come on. Off, they both go off. In position number three, anchor light goes on. Uh, instead of running two separate wires to your anchor light, basically what you do is you just take a jumper from here to here. And that way that anchor light goes on in either position but the bow light only comes on in the top position. The next switch I'm going to discuss is a specialty circuit switch typically used for ignition. It's indicated by an M. Uh, if you read across the columns, I think it'll be a little easier if I explain this switch backwards. So we're going to start with position number three of the actuator, which is in the down position. And if you read down column three, you'll notice that the M circuit is going to be off. In position number two, it activates or it connects two and three. This would typically be wired to the ignition portion of this circuit. It's constant on. When switching the actuator to position number one, you'll notice by the parentheses, it's momentary. In that momentary position, Terminals 2 and 3 are connected, and also terminals 5 and 6 are connected. Terminal 6 is usually going to go to a starter solenoid, which is going to activate your starter. It's only momentary until the engine starts. Remember, this is a double pole switch, so these two sides are independent of each other. You don't have any, any danger of the, uh, any back feed or, or any interference going to your ignition circuit, and this ignition circuit will stay active whether it's in position 2 or in position 1. 
There is a jumper across here that's providing power to both sides of the switch, uh, similar to the nav light switch.